Welcome to this armor paint video. We will use today the sticker and text tool. Additionally we will set up the viewport. This video is a little bit short but I hope you will take something from this video. Here I have armor paint with an object. We will first use the sticker tool. Before I start I want to create a new layer. Now I import my transparent texture. Next I create a new material and open it. Delete the RGB node and replace it with the imported transparent text. If we use the sticker tool then we see that a rectangle appears in our viewport. We can make a sticker but it doesn't look interesting. Now you have to connect from color to base color and from alpha to opacity. If you don't have a transparent texture then you just need to connect from color to base color. So now we have our sticker. We can now apply our sticker with the left mouse button. Here on top to radius we can change the size of our sticker. Right next to radius we have here the option to control the UV scale. And for the next one I think that you should let it to zero because it's not useful for the sticker tool. For the next one you can lower the opacity. And for the shape you can use here the shape that works for you. Now I import another texture into armor paint. Again create a new material and replace the RGB with the texture. Just connect from color to base color nothing more. And again apply U sticker. You can also change the roughest and metallic values of the sticker to change the look. The text tool is right under the sticker tool. Make sure that you select another material. The text tool is the same tool as the sticker tool. With the left mouse button you can apply your text on your object.
Here are the same settings like the one in the sticker tool. Additionally is here a new option. Here you can set your text. For the text you can set a color you want. Now we will set up our viewport. We go down here to viewport. We have here some options to change, for example the light strength or light size. Change the values like you want to have. Under the values we can check some options. For example the UV. Now we want to background, for this we enable environment map. Make sure that you check blurred. You can see that our metallic material is affected by the environment. You can also just set one color as a background. Thanks for watching another armor paint video. I hope that you learned something from this video.